students welcome back to arc tutorials this is angular 19 complete grut project tutorial this tutorial is for new learners or i would say beginners or even for that matter the expert developers from previous versions of angular there are a lot of breaking changes in angular 19 that are different from previous versions I have built this application for you in order to cover everything that you need to learn angular 19 let's go ahead before we kick start make sure to continue to support me thank you so much please to like comment share please don't forget to get your ebook on the full stack interview series at arctutorials.gumroad.com <coughs> all right so as part of learning right this particular project will teach you everything all the new features of angular 19 that are implemented as part of this project I'll demo the project in just a bit you will be learning signals very very important uh, that's like a major change that has got into angular 19 and onwards so you have to master signals and as part of this project we will heavily use signals in order to maintain that state in angular application You'll also learn Angular material. You'll learn to build the layout. You'll also learn how to use multiple components of Angular material. We'll also cover some of the new features, breaking changes that are there in Angular 19. I'll show you as we move along everything hands-on. <coughs> of course, we will build the CRUD functionality with the backend using JSON server for the backend APIs. We will also use at the rate differ that's another one that's used for lazy loading and improving performance in Angular 19. You'll also learn routing, configuring routes, using router link, and much more. We, I'll also use Breakpoint Observer to show you how to use viewports and other <coughs> modes. Standalone components, that's the core that Angular is now heading towards, so you have to learn that. Finally, we'll also use Angular material table. We'll do grid, pagination, previous, next, selecting page, results, etc. <coughs> this is not limited. We'll do a lot more than this. We'll, I'll show you the defects and the errors you will come across and how to fix them. Let's get started with the demo. It's show time. Please do hit like button if you are enjoying. <coughs> All right. So this is what we are going to build. We are going to build an expense tracker application, which will look like this. It will have a sidebar that would open up. It would have the navigational links. It would display a beautiful mat table with details, with options for edit and delete. You can also use items per page to display how many. So you can select here. You can do next and previous, that's the core functionality of mat table other than that we will also do crud functionality I told you we will use the dynamic forms here we'll use different data formats different form elements basically like choosing date picker category drop down number and buttons of course so this is the add form now we can go ahead and let's I'll show you quickly let's enter an amount select a category choose the date <coughs> add some description that's optional click on save it got added successfully to see that we go here you can see that it's demo time and we have the entertainment added that's the add functionality in the table now we can also click on any of the existing one and edit let's say demo edit and then choose the date and update that would be updated accordingly <coughs> then if you go and check for that value that's already added all right now if you want to see the value let's let's go ahead edit it here and make it uh, 60 something so let's make it food bill category and update and okay so this is getting updated here we'll check that as we build the project but this is just the high level thing that I've done 
we will be able to delete if you see there is some description I click on delete uh, let me check the API endpoints if they are up okay so that's the problem so looks like um, the backend APIs are not going so let me stop and start it again <coughs> and let's relaunch okay perfect so now I'm deleting and now it got deleted okay so that it was with the description now it got deleted now let's edit again say demo edit amount I'm putting 60,000 and date let's select uh, 28th and let's select food and update it got updated and you can see here <coughs> it got updated so basically CRUD functionality um, with add expense you can go to dashboard see the dashboard you can edit you can also delete go back to the list do the pagination next previous then what I've done is I have to show you the differ functionality I will also build you expense item in a list format with the buttons again the same ones and we can scroll this this is another view but with using differ that way you can also learn how to use that to improve performance last I have put some placeholder page which is the contact page where you can learn how to put the mat cards and etc etc all right that's the application that we are going to build and I hope you will love it um, again this is responsive if you shrink it and optimize it for mobile you can see that view as well let's go ahead select 14 Pro Max and you see it comes up so it's responsive layout we will build it using angular material and lot of components so <clears throat> I'm really excited to build this for you I hope you will learn I hope you will enjoy like I said this is angular 19 complete CRUD tutorial series thank you so much for joining in this episode if you are excited please do hit that like button for me and if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much happy learning